Welcome back Commodore fans. Today I have yet another video in which I compile a program created with the basic extender utility. In this video I'll be compiling a super expander quicksort program using the Abacus Basic 64 compiler and then comparing it with the Simons Basic and Commodore 128 versions I showed in the previous video. Here is a quick look at the super expander program. It's exactly the same as the others in that it sets up a high resolution screen, reads the data, and draws the lines. Then we have the sort routine itself, and of course I'm using the same randomized data set as the others. Okay, let's see it run before compiling. We'll also add the Simons Basic and the Commodore 128 versions. Okay, everything is ready. In three, two, one, go. All of these programs are running in real time. And our first place winner is Simon's Basic at about 74 seconds. In second place is the Super Expander program at about 86 seconds. And in a close third, the Commodore 128 at about 87 seconds, just one second behind the Super Expander program. Next, let's compile the Super Expander program with the Abacus compiler. Once loaded, we go into the Advanced Options menu. The compiler does not have an option specifically for Super Expander programs, so I will leave it set on Others. I found that in order to get the Super Expander program to compile correctly, I have to set two other options. First, set the memory top to 32768, and second, set the token byte size to 2, as the Super Expander uses 2 byte tokens for its keywords. And as usual, we want the 6502-6510 machine language code generator. Now we return to the main menu, select Optimizer 2, type in the program name, and away it goes. Skipping ahead, we see that the program compiled successfully, so let's move on to the main event. Compiled Super Expander programs still require that the Super Expander cartridge be attached and active on your computer. I've got mine all set up and ready, so let's load the compiled version and run it. And as before, we'll load the compiled Simons Basic and compiled Commodore 128 versions. Okay, they're all ready. In three, two, one, go.
And the first place winner is the Commodore 128 at about 42 seconds. Coming in at a close second is Simon's Basic at a little over 46 seconds. And bringing up the rear in last place is the Super Expander program at almost 59 seconds. So it appears that Super Expander is the slowest option when using in normal mode and when compiled. However, having extended BASIC commands available for sound and graphics is still a huge bonus when programming in BASIC. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and as always, be careful out there.